Hey, good morning, everyone. It's Cousin Ryan. Uncle Joel. And Uncle Joel has something for us this morning. So there's a cereal I've seen in the stores a few times and had a few people mention that they liked, um, but it never really stood out as anything worth checking out. Um, it is Honey O's. And the reason it never really stood out to me is it just seemed like another brand's attempt at uh, Honey Nut Cheerios. Just, you know, a knockoff. Um, but, you know, and, and, and not that we're kids anymore, however, this kind of looks like an old person cereal. Yeah, yeah. It does. That looks like something my dad would eat if my dad ate cereal. Yeah. It's, it's it looks like Cheerios with little nuggets of something and it looks like maybe nuts not, or something. <laughs> not nuggets of marshmallows either. No, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it just it never looked that appealing. But I've had a few few people who are a lot younger than me say it's their favorite cereal. So I figured we should give it a try. I'm down, totally down for it. Do you have a dog? Uh, no. No. Neither do I. But yet, there's little pieces of what looks like dog hair on this shirt. So already, this looks quite different. Definitely does not look like Cheerios. I smell it. Yeah. I can smell it. The bowl is like down here, and I love how you just ignored my comment about dog hair on the shirt. <laughs> Suggestions, my hair. Maybe. That's quite good. Is there cinnamon? I'm not sure. It right off the bat, right off the bat, it reminds me of the little mini donuts you can get at like a county fair or you know a carnival or whatever. Mm. And those are usually covered in like sugar and cinnamon. It doesn't list cinnamon. Huh? Gosh, man, I I feel like that's. Basically, just like... Is that Tuesday? Just do like like 10 times that. More? Uh, a tiny bit more. Uh, okay. All yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah, these are definitely not like Cheerios. No, not at all. Not at all. Those are really good. It's like sweet, but not super sweet. It's like somewhere between. I'm trying to figure out what I feel about these. I don't hate them. I don't even dislike them, but I just, I don't know what to think yet. Definitely different than I was expecting. I do really like it. I do like it, but I'm just like self reflecting right now. <laughs> of all the cereals we've tried, two of them that we haven't actually tried on here in their like original forms. Uh, Cookie Crisp and Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I feel like those are the two cereals I'm always going to go to. And maybe Lucky Charms. I don't know that this would unseat that rotation. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was just I don't know why. I was just thinking in my mind. like I don't know. That's how I should really gauge a lot of these. Is if I would say I could only have three cereals in my cupboard. It would be those three. And like the marshmallow Lucky Charm thing, that could seasonally be shifted out for like a Count Chocula or whatever in the in the fall. I don't know if this would push anything out though. See, for me, I only have two normal go-tos. Mm -hmm. uh, would be Cinnamon Life 
and rice checks. And Two totally adult choices, man. Yeah, like menu. <laughs> uh, but I feel like this is a third adult choice. Yeah. <laughs> no marshmallows. Um, but no, like, you know what? And actually, the more this is getting soaked with milk, I think it tastes better. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not that it's getting like soggy or anything, but I, the milk really adds to. But I just don't know if I'm like. And honestly, as much as I love cereal, I, I don't eat it a whole lot. You know what I mean? And I think that's part of my hesitation too, is yeah. keeping a few boxes of cereal in the cupboard because I really only eat cereal on the weekends. Like I don't eat cereal before I go to work. I'll have scrambled eggs and some oatmeal and that's like my go-to getting ready for work in the morning. So there's not a huge turnover of cereal in my cupboard and that, I don't know. I don't, again, I don't know if this would, if I would crave this enough to have that type of longevity yeah you know yeah. in my cupboard I'm, I'm definitely the same way but since I I'm pretty limited in what I tend to keep around mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, oh yeah I don't I, I get exactly why you like this it is good anyway yeah. enough talking right <laughs> uh, hope you guys have had or having a good weekend and uh, talk to you next time yeah. take it easy